On the fourth day before Christmas, real estate gave to me the gift of a finder's fee. Hey, hey, that's right, y'all. Did you know that you can benefit financially by earning a finder's fee when you find a property that we end up buying? Isn't that awesome? Uh, well, I want to share with you more about it. So I'm out right now. I'm in my car because I'm doing something called driving for dollars right now. I'm looking for homes that might have some basic signs of distress. And when I find one, I take a picture of it. I actually then start marketing to it uh, to see if potentially the owner would want to sell the home one day. So here is what is cool. You can do the exact same thing. And there's actually a couple options that you uh, can do. So I want to share these with you. We call them the 1245 Team Side Hustle Options. Now, what got me thinking about doing this episode is actually a statistic that I read about how popular side hustles are. So, did you know that supposedly 45% of the working Americans have a side hustle in 2022? Isn't that crazy? 45%. Uh, that, is, that is unbelievable if that's accurate. Uh, and supposedly the average side hustle is making about 480 bucks per month. When you start thinking about it, it does make sense a little bit, right? Because you just think about inflation, you think about the cost of groceries, cost of gas, everything's gone up. So maybe making some of that side cash is helpful. Well, here is something that is really cool. If you like real estate and you like a side hustle, this could be a massive win-win for you, okay? Uh, so a finder's fee, what that is, is when you get paid for finding a home that we buy. Okay, just uh, in, in simple terms. Uh, so let me share with you maybe a few examples of how people uh, in our world have benefited from this. Uh, so earlier this year, we had a, uh, an acquaintance actually knew of somebody up in Northern Virginia that needed to sell their home pretty quickly. They just came to a place where they had a lot of work to do to the home. Uh, there really wasn't any upgrades to the home and they knew that for them, they just needed to sell quickly. So we went to the house, uh, we took a look at the home, we did a cost analysis on the home, and we gave them a very fair cash offer and they accepted it. We closed and then when we closed, this person that we're talking about uh, actually ended up making $1,000, a $1,000 finder's fee for this particular deal, which is awesome. All right, another story uh, is we ended up having a person connect us with somebody who was underwater. And what that means is uh, they didn't have enough equity in the home to be able to sell. So if they were to sell, they were going to have to bring money to the table. It was going to cost them money. And well, they didn't really want to do that, which, well, I could, I could understand why. So we were able to work out a deal to where we took over the seller's loan. And after we took it over, we were able just to buy the house. Uh, and the seller did not have to bring any money to the table. So that was a win-win. Well, that person ended up making about a $500 finder's fee. Uh, last option, okay, I won't bore you. Uh, last option is actually someone who's doing what I'm doing right now, okay? They were doing driving for dollars. So this gentleman drove through a neighborhood, saw this house that had a bunch of AC units all in the windows, took a picture of the home, added it to the app that we offer you, uh, it's called Deal Machine, and we did the marketing to it. We marketed to it, we called, uh, and sure enough, this seller ended up calling us back and they did need to sell. Uh, so we are actually closing on that house in just a few days, as long as closing happens on time. And the moment we close on that, that particular gentleman is going to make $500 just from simply adding that house to the app. Pretty awesome, right? Now, if you are a licensed real estate agent, of course, you're going to get a referral fee or just straight up commission paid to you if you were to bring us a home that we buy. But if you're non-licensed, you have the opportunity to get the finder's fee. Now, here's what I love about this opportunity for so many folks is a lot of people love the idea of getting into the world of investing in real estate. So yes, this gives side hustle money, but it also helps equip people who just want to learn about what it looks like to start investing in real estate. You love the idea of flips or maybe getting into this world a little bit. Uh, and I just find that this is an incredible way to be able to learn about investment properties because the key to investing in real estate, here it is, 
is you have to find the deals. So if you get in and start thinking about ways to be able to find these properties and benefit, you are now actually starting to learn the early entry, what it takes to actually be an investor. But here's what I love about just doing what we're talking is, it kind of sounds funny, but what it does is it tickles your reticular activator. All right. So say that three times, right? You're tickling your reticular activator. All right. Here's what I mean by that. It's a brain thing. All right. Uh, is have you ever wanted to buy, uh, let's say, uh, a particular car, a, a yellow bug? You just kind of wanted to buy a yellow bug. And then what happened? You start seeing yellow bugs everywhere. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Uh, I've kind of heard it with pregnant women. I've never personally been pregnant, but uh, my wife has. It is once you kind of start thinking about it, then you just start seeing everybody who is pregnant, right? It's because what our brains do is once we decide we want to, we want something, um, our brain often seeks and finds it without us even realizing it because it is tickling our reticular activator back here. All right, there you go. Science lesson for you today. So. I want you to know how you can start thinking about ways to be able to get into this side hustle game. One is keep your ears open as you talk with people, okay? Situations are going to come up in life all the time that really require people to sell. And often the best solution for them is to work with an investor like we are. This can be somebody who just needs a lot of work on their home. They don't want to put the money into it. Uh, this could also mean, you know, even that they're just behind on their payments. Uh, they need help being able to get caught up in their payments and repair their credit. Uh, this could also be somebody who's upside down uh, on their home and they just don't have the money to be able to bring to the closing table to pay settlement uh, fees. This could just need to be somebody who just needs to sell fast, right? Uh, so there's a lot of different scenarios. Keep your ears open. The moment that you hear about that, connect us with that person. That's it. That's it. All right. Second option is doing what I'm doing today, driving for dollars. So you can download our driving for dollars app. So we're going to have it in the description. Uh, what's pretty cool about this is an awesome app. Uh, once you sign up, it's free. You're going to have a couple minutes of kind of training that it will show you how to use it, but you get your own login information. It's a connected to our account. So what I love about this is when you're out and you see a property and you take a picture and you add it to the app, your name, uh, you, you own that home in a sense. So anytime when after we market it, we get a call from that seller and we close on that home, that home is contributed to you. So you're going to get that finder's fee. So if that's something that you would really enjoy doing, driving around and actually doing some work, that's another option for you as well. Well, I hope this was helpful. Two different ways that you can kind of get in the game of doing the side hustle. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about these opportunities, discuss these, talk about them, learn. Listen, we want to help, okay? We want to help you be able to have a side hustle that truly blesses you. Well, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful last few days before Christmas and Advent season. God bless.